BC Hydro has been generating and moving power for decades. And in the Lower Mainland and Vancouver Island, increasing numbers of homes and businesses mean more and more power is needed every year. With existing transmission lines reaching capacity, we began planning and consultation in 2006 to build a major new transmission line. This 500 kilovolt line will carry more power from where it's generated in the Columbia and Peace River regions to the Lower Mainland. It will require some 600 towers crossing 250 kilometers between Nicola substation near Merritt and the Meridian substation in Coquitlam. In 2012, construction begins. It won't be an easy job. This is the Interior to Lower Mainland Transmission Project. The landscape between the two substations is breathtakingly beautiful. It can also be dangerous. ILM construction crews work in extremely rugged terrain and daunting weather conditions. Elevations as high as 2,000 meters above sea level are scaled and turned into construction sites in rain, wind, and snow. Always the most important thing is keeping everyone safe as we build the line. Hundreds of kilometers of right of way need to be cleared, roads and bridges constructed. In many places, the route is difficult to access or located in environmentally sensitive areas like wetlands and bogs. We study the wildlife, natural habitat and archaeology develop plans to protect and to mitigate impacts. In some cases, we redesign entire sections of the line. We're sometimes forced to reroute to avoid impacting key archeological sites or endangered species like the Oregon spotted frog. Working closely with First Nations is critical to our success. For example, a First Nations company provides archeological and heritage monitoring services during the project and one community identifies several sites where culturally modified trees attest to First Nations civilizations of long ago. These trees are carefully cut down and transported to the village museum, becoming part of a public display. Foundations for the towers are built in rock, soil, and clay. We need to use different designs and construction methods depending on location. While most towers are erected on large concrete foundations, several are built on piles driven 50 meters into soft earth and filled with concrete. Various types of towers populate the line. They change with the terrain at the many river crossings or with the load the tower needs to carry. The biggest towers on the ILM line are 70 meters tall and weigh 37 metric tons as much as a Boeing 737. In some places, access is good and we can erect the towers using cranes. But many other sites can be accessed only by air. Crews, equipment, materials, and even the tower parts are flown to the site by powerful helicopters. Their highly experienced crews guide the tower sections into position, bolt them together, and secure the impressive structure in place. Helicopters are also used to help string the conductor between the towers. We use almost 3,000 kilometers of conductor, just a little short of the distance between Vancouver and Toronto. Contractors build much of the line, with BC Hydro crews constructing a 19-kilometer section through Spuzzum. From start to finish, it takes nearly 10 years of hard work, including four of construction. But in late 2015, we complete the interior to lower mainland transmission project. It's the largest addition to BC Hydro's system in four decades.